Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to draw a bunk bed um, in 3D. And this is kind of the easiest way that you can do it without a lot of measuring. So if you wanted to have a bunk bed right here, we're going to go ahead and use that rule of trapezoids because a bunk bed is square, rectangular. So drawing trapezoids is going to be the easiest way that you're going to get that illusion of a 3D bed. So the first thing we need to do is we need to draw kind of the front of the mattress, which is actually just a rectangle. The top of the mattress is gonna be where we have our trapezoid. So maybe a finger or two down from this horizon line, this back wall. I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a long rectangle. This is the front of the mattress. This is kind of the edge of the mattress. I'm gonna draw the exact same width and size of a rectangle up at the top of the paper. So I don't have a ruler at my house. I know that's weird. I'm just gonna draw kind of measuring with a composition notebook, kind of the edges, just lining it up so that I know it's the exact same size. Okay. And Obviously, you could always measure this with a ruler. Okay, just draw that on the sheet. All right, so we have the exact same size um, rectangle, one for the top bunk, one for the bottom bunk. Now we're gonna draw our trapezoid. Same thing, we're gonna draw a nice tall trapezoid, and it would be great if the trapezoid underneath has the same kind of point. So I'm just gonna line that up. Just kinda draw a little dot so I know how wide that trapezoid should be. Down here, okay. Whenever you draw in front of something else, like the horizon line, you're gonna wanna go back and erase that so it doesn't get too confusing. Okay, so now I have a rectangle with a trapezoid, a rectangle with a trapezoid. So I have my mattresses, but obviously they're not gonna be floating in the air unless you wanted them to be, unless you wanted a floating bed. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a post that connects and it's gonna go above this rectangle, just like that connecting these front corners. That's the first post. Second post. Okay, I went in front of that line, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase that. And then we need to add two posts for the back of the bed as well. So I'm gonna draw another post I'm not gonna go through the mattress. I'm just gonna kind of continue it behind the mattress. And I'm not gonna see it underneath the bed. It will be kind of hidden. And those posts can be a little bit thinner than the ones in the front if you really wanna give that effect of it being 3D. Okay, so now I've connected the corners of our mattresses with a post. So it actually looks like this bed is on top of this bed. Now, if you want a little railing on the top, all you have to do is connect those posts together. So connecting the front post, I can connect the corner post up here. And now it looks like we have a little railing. And if I wanted to put some slats in, all those little details, the more details you add, the more realistic it's gonna be. And I can actually do slats on the side as well and on the back. Now, it would be very hard to get up to this loft area in this top bed if there wasn't a ladder. So, if you want to put a ladder on the front, probably the easiest, you just draw another post. 
same width and size. Erase anything inside of that post. You'll erase the railing so that you can climb up there. And then we'll need to put the steps of our ladder. So for the steps, really the best way to put steps is to just draw some little trapezoids. Just kind of space them out. Feel free to pause this video at any time. You need a little bit more time to get caught up. I'm gonna erase what's on the inside of those trapezoids. You could also just color them in if you want them a darker color. And there you go, you have a little ladder. I would go back and just put a tiny rectangle on the front of it so it looks like they're thick steps. All right, so that's a ladder on the front of the bed. If you wanted a ladder on the side of the bed, it's a little bit harder to explain. I'll just kind of draw the the shape of it, but I would just have kind of a rectangle going slanted. And you could also put a rectangle kind of behind it going slanted, not as far down. So those would be the sides of the ladder. And then to make things simple, you could just connect them with some rectangles like that. It's not gonna look as 3D, but it's the easiest way of doing it. There you go. Okay, when you add pillows and things onto your bunk beds, it's really gonna make it look more 3D. You could add blankets, a cat or a dog laying on your bed. So I'm just gonna add a couple pillows. Always erasing what's inside when I'm overlapping. A little blanket. And we have a 3D bunk bed. Thanks for watching.